Hi, I'm Woody. And I'm Gabrielle. And you are watching That, that Grape, Grape Juice. Juice. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Hema and we are here with That Grape Juice and I'm joined by Bobby and Whitney aka Gabrielle <laughs> and Woody. And you guys look great. Thank you, you too. too. Thank but you. I feel so underdressed compared what? to you guys. Listen, you are bringing melanin on fleek all the way. You are hey. so gorgeous. I was like, look at my melanin. She yes. walked in. Sitting on your uh, throne, yes. basically, yes, as a little know. queen and king like. <laughs> um, but thanks for talking to me. Absolutely. So let's get into it. Uh, congratulations on the success of uh, Bobby Brown story. But were you guys expecting it for, for it to be this big? or? Man, Bobby is an icon. True. He's a legend, so I didn't expect any less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. I had zero expectations. I think I was so engrossed in like the work and like hoping people received it well. Mm -hmm. um, as far as like the numbers, that was never really, I think I don't even thought about that. But mm -hmm. like for me, it was more about like hoping that they enjoyed the work we done. Mm -hmm. um, but I know for like you guys, because you've been, you've been in the journey with the new edition, yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. such a hit there. Mm -hmm. I think it was probably just something we assumed that right. people yeah. would want to see Bobby Brown story. <laughs> we got some Bobby Brown. Mm -hmm. Was the was there any pressure there? Did you feel like you know you kind of like on your own and you just kind of had more to prove now? Oh man, I was so excited to be on my own. Okay, so you wanted to be on your own. I really felt like Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's so competitive. <laughs> I really felt like Bobby in the moment, mm -hmm. you know. I mean? But I, I have Bobby here with me, so okay. there is no pressure. Okay. And I feel like it's only you only feel pressure when you're not prepared. Okay. And I felt like we were well prepared right. for the project. So what did the preparation include? Man, a lot of studying, a lot of watching clips, mm -hmm. a lot of dance rehearsals, mm -hmm. uh, losing weight. Um, a lot. Just a lot, a okay. lot, a lot for me. He was in, he, this guy was in almost every scene. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah. he worked every day. Uh -huh. um, he never had a day off. Um, he worked very hard. And we were all there to help support him. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We had this guy's back. It was all about like, listen, this is your time to shine. Mm -hmm. We're all here for you. Like I was very specific about like, we've got to support this young guy. Right. And, like really help lift him up. Cause he's already doing the work. Yeah. So we have to step in and make sure we're supporting him with our work as well. Okay. Yeah, I made it so easy. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, so channeling the vibe of Bobby, you know, he's very, um, he's quite a character, um, insanely sexual, which we all love, <laughs> <laughs> insanely sexual, um, you know, a bit cocky, um, very confident and, you know, just, just very Bobby Brown. Like, what did it take for you to channel that energy that he brings? I had to be all of those things all the right. time. Right. I had to force myself to be that person because I'm like, I'm more of the like quiet, shy person, especially if I don't know you, I won't say anything. <laughs> but Bobby is the complete opposite. Right. But that's what I like about him, and he mm -hmm. kind of doing this character kind of built my confidence mm -hmm. up as well. And so he did help you, like you yeah. said, a lot. Did you um, feel like you had a lot to prove when he was watching you? Did it feel like, oh? Oh, especially for his dance performance. It was okay. like, yo, he, okay. he's done this. I'm yeah. like redoing it for him. So yeah. it'd be times he'll come up there and be like, yeah, I need more hip thrusting or more like <laughs> tongue action or more walk. You know what I mean? So, but it was really great for him to be there. Yeah, that's amazing. Hey, well, you were playing Whitney, which is an incredible role. I would be so like, it's kind mm. of, I'm not worried, but just really wanting to get it perfect and want to do her justice. Uh, so what, what, what kind of things were going through your mind when you were stepping into this role? Um, all of that. I mean, it was definitely like an exciting opportunity mm -hmm. um, and it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never done character work mm -hmm. like this before. So be able to step into these huge shoes and just, I approached it with a lot of respect. Mm -hmm. um, I prayed a lot about it. Awesome. I took it extremely serious right. because it's like we, we hold her in a certain light mm -hmm. and we hold her in a certain, um, platform of how uh, we love her, how much yeah. we love and care for her. So I didn't want to take away any of that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's these things that people may or may not assume of her or don't right. understand of her right. because we, we try to create these larger than life images of our mm -hmm. stars and forget that they're flawed, they're, they're complex, mm -hmm. they go through pain and, mm -hmm. and trials and tribulations like the rest of us. So the goal was to humanize her in a way that she felt a little more real and relatable and not this huge lar larger than life icon that you would be like, oh, well, she can go through that, but I would never. I wanted to be able to sit and watch a movie and say, oh my gosh, Whitney's like me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. So um, just watching a lot of videos, um, music videos, talking to people that knew her, 
Um, like I said, praying a lot and just trying to um, capture her spirit more than anything. Mm -hmm. um, hoping that that translates to what people watch. And um, yeah, just a lot of love went into it. Well, a lot of love. People are people are quite um, critical when it comes to uh, watching other people play the stars they believe they know. So um, the feedback was great. So I'm, I mean, I'm oh yeah, because at the beginning yourself. they get mad. Yeah, they get mad. Like, yeah. So that we need to look yeah, like yeah, the biggest reservation was like you guys don't look like. But luckily, I had this guy next to me who told me. Don't worry about it. Yeah. He was like, we went through that with the new edition story. Mm -hmm. They ripped us apart, you know, um, that we and didn't look like them, them, but then they loved it at yeah. the end. So I think when people, audiences can just go in on the ride and enjoy it, mm -hmm. they get it. And okay. the feedback, since people have seen it, is the complete opposite of what's mm -hmm. been started. Yeah. Um, so Whitney, Bobby, major artists, tell me, what are your favorite songs from each of them? <sighs> One of my favorite Whitney songs, I mean, it's hard to pick one, I think yeah. either of them. My favorite Whitney song is Run To You, mm -hmm. because I love the visual of her in the, in the movie, mm -hmm. you know, bodyguard of her, like, in this white sheer, she yeah. just looks so angelic. And then I think for Bobby, it's my prerogative. Just I just like the title. It's yeah. my prerogative. Like you know, I do what I want to do, and I feel like that's just a, an attitude that I feel like a lot of people should take on at some point in their life Definitely. and just do. Definitely. You. Yeah, mine's. Whitney, it would be uh, I will always, if I will you. always love you. Mm -hmm. um, that's like a super emotional song. So mm -hmm. anytime I ever had to get emotional, I would listen to that song. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And then um, for Bobby, it would have to be Rome. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, one of my favorite scenes in the movie was when you guys were getting the glasses and you practiced <laughs> that oh. little <laughs> and when they comp compared it to the original um, part. So how how many times did you guys watch that clip to get the exact moves on point? I feel like not that many times because yeah. it's such a short clip. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like that day we might have shot that in what thirty minutes. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. It didn't take long to film it, and I just think it was just the brilliance of our director and our DP of like knowing where to tell us to stand, and then us just kind of you know living into that space mm -hmm. and that spirit and that energy. Right. But so if I asked you guys to do it like on, on cue now, <laughs> you, give you, us probably, a you probably wouldn't be able to get it. <laughs> I mean, I can stick this, but. There were a lot of highs and lows within that relationship. Was it easy to capture both sides of um, Bobby and Whitney's relationship? Did we able to kind of like give your all to both sides as much as possible and really display that? Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Yeah. yeah. For sure. And just all that preparation and studying it kind of prepares you for all those moments. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And just being on set for that long and just being in character for that long, it made it so much easier. But if you ask me to be it now, it's probably not okay, right. Okay, okay. Yeah, because for me, I know it took a while for me to get Whitney off of me, mm -hmm. like to get her out of my system. It was an extremely emotional process. Oh, like, wow. I cried a lot, I prayed a lot, and kind of went through these highs and lows because I was upset a lot that she wasn't here. Right. And, like, just kind of go through missing her and, like, all yeah. of those things. But um, but then you just live in, like, the, the joys of the memories of how much she did give to us. Mm -hmm. You know, as the world, we, we took a lot from her. Mm -hmm. um, she provided us with so much beauty and art. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but but I feel like like what he said, it's just like the preparation helped prepare us for everything that we had to get through. And also when you're filming, you could be in a high in the morning and then a low by lunch. You yeah. know what I mean? So you're yeah. kind of going through this roller coaster of things and we were shooting at least eight pages a day, so mm -hmm. it was a lot going on. <laughs> I was on your Instagram. Okay. Oh. And you did um have a caption where you said that you were ending your acting career. Yes, yes. And I was like, I read it like five times. And, <laughs> and I read the comments, okay, I was like, okay, cool. So I'm not the only one that's really confused right now. Yeah. What's going on? Man, I enjoy creating and producing. Okay. I like behind the scenes. Okay. I mean, I like, I like what my guy's doing back here. You don't right. see him, right. but you know what I mean? But he's making all this magic happen. Okay. So you get the final product and it all came from him. Right. So I like stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. I, and I highly doubt it's the last time we'll see him just because you can't block God's blessings in this sure. guy. That's very true. This guy is, you know, he's he's blessed. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he the, even his journey to get to where he is now, it mm -hmm. was not his plan. This mm -hmm. is just, it happened to him. Mm -hmm. So, but I think all of, I, I'm excited to see what he's going to create in the future because, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of where most people know him from is creating spaces mm -hmm. and he's so talented at that. Mm -hmm. um, so all of that's going to come. I don't <laughs> think it's the last time. He keeps saying, it was like, boy, you're going to be in front of that camera again. <laughs> <laughs> um, just quickly before we go, uh, this is going to premiere in the UK very soon. Um, tell us why should we t tune in? Why should we watch this? Why are we going to love it? Why? Yeah. Oh why? man. 
Uh, Come on, send it to us. Well, it's it's two nights, two nights. so <laughs> you know what I mean. You get to you get to have a variety of snacks ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what's great about the movie is it's just such a variety of entertainment. There's mm -hmm. music. You're gonna it's gonna be very nostalgic. You're gonna get to dance all your old Bobby mm -hmm. Brown jams. Mm -hmm. But then you're also gonna see a side of Bobby Brown that you don't know. Right. And you think you know Bobby Brown, but, but you, you don't really know Bobby Brown. Brown. Okay. You don't know Bobby and Whitney's yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. You don't know Bobby's family. And there's so many, there's a lot of pain. I would say prepare, bring me some tissue. Yes, tissue. Have tissue stand by. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think people are ready. Like, mm -hmm. they're not ready to go on this emotional journey. It's, oh. it's very intense. And the soundtrack is amazing. Yes. Babyface did the okay. uh, score. So it was, it's, I it's so dope. Anything with that we can trust. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for talking to me. <laughs> we are at greatjuice.net, and you guys are so awesome and lovely and beautiful. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>